can't really play me on, so I just have to kind of... Hi! How you doing? I was going to start. Okay, you want to you play me on again? I'll start again. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, one more try. We'll get it when we get it this time. There it is. That's what I like to hear. Your pity is noted. Thank you. We're a little tonight. Yep. Hang on to the side of the universe and just scream "we." That's the whole. That's the whole show. That's what you need to know. Um, I am sort of a little jet lag, so you'll have to forgive me. Putting together the show is one thing, but also the schedule we've been keeping lately. The Circus Freaks have been working a lot, which is awesome. Um, I find that I'm not sleeping, and I'm seeing the sunrise a lot from the wrong side. Which is hard because, you know, then I come here and do this. So if I get a little weird on you, just give me a little nudge off to the side or pour coffee in me. It'll be fine, okay? Thank you. Um, I have noticed something that happens when you live this kind of performer life. Who out here is a performer? Let me hear a cheer. There's a fair number, fair number of you guys. Yeah, this whole table is like full of performers and they didn't say a word. It's very, very awkward. Do you want to, do you mind, just shine an awkward light upon them? There's an awkward light. It was a little late. I was awkward. All right, just then. All right, thank you. Back up here. So... You guys probably, you know, the guys who screamed, you guys know this. It, when, when your bedtime isn't as important as your call time, reality slowly skews. Uh, eventually, things like when is lunch time becomes a metaphysical sort of question. It's not, this is not good, this is just a fact. Um, I've gotten to that point now where I love my life. This is, none of this is a complaint. My life is amazing. But sometimes I realize I'm really disconnected from what everybody seems to call reality. I, I, I knew you were going to say that. It is very overrated. But when I walk down the street, you know, if I go to set up a show and it's a big show that's going to have a thousand people before they get there, it's an empty room and it's freaky because it's, it, it, it's like that sci-fi movie where you arrived ahead of time and the room hasn't happened yet. That's what it feels like when you get here, and that's what it feels like when you get to a big place or a little place. It, you just start to feel out of sync after a while. It makes me crazy. When I'm working late at night, I start to feel a little insane. And I take a break before I get to the stabby special place, and I get online on the internet, and I notice that there are a lot of you up burning the midnight oil on your own endeavors, because I see you not so much clicking favorite and like on things as, as being out there and saying, yeah, I'm up too. And I, I find it to be a huge reminder that I'm not alone on sometimes the hardest of days. I know recently I had a friend of mine, he had a birthday, and it was on a day where it was publicly known that I would be unavailable for it at all. And he invited me. He said, I invited you. I said, I can't make it. He says, I know, but I wanted you to know I thought to invite you. I know. And I'm going to try to juggle my schedule and, and, you know, and show up, but don't tell him. Oh. <laughs> this is going to air before that. Now, okay, I'll try. Okay, the evil eye of YouTube is watching. So the point is, we get a little out of sync with reality, and we reach out, and we seem to be connecting. I think the thing I love most about this place is we manage to make time to get in a room together for a few hours, despite our projects and our weird hours and our being on the wrong side of dawn. I know some people drove from another event directly here to set up this event, and Thank you guys for that. This guy and that guy back there. If we didn't have that, we would, be, we would be in so much trouble if we didn't have this place to get back on the same page. I, you know, I call it my sanity place, but more importantly, I call it the open stage, and I just wanted to welcome you.